are Trek mountain bikes any good? Now most likely if you're asking this question, you'll be looking to buy one. If so, you'll find this video very helpful. I've owned two Trek bikes, a Roscoe 7 hardtail and a Remedy 8 full suspension, so I can answer this question better than most. Stick around to the end where I'll give you a few top tips if you're looking to buy a Trek. Thank you for choosing this video and I hope you enjoy. On my Roscoe 7, there have been pretty much no mechanical faults. The only things that have deteriorated over time are the brake pads, but that's obviously going to happen so it doesn't really count, and the drop post lever has recently become a bit stiff, and I'm not too mechanically minded, so I haven't got around to fixing that yet. The cable routing is internal, so it makes it a bit harder to work on, but it does give the bike a nice clean and sleek look. My Roscoe 7's got loads of Bontrager components on it, and they're actually really nice. A highlight for me is the saddle, which is a Bontrager Arvada saddle, and it, it's personal preference, but I actually really like it. I know Trek bikes are actually quite expensive, so here's a quick rundown of some of the key components to show you how well they've held up. The tyres have done really well, there's still a bit of grip left, but there is the obvious wear and tear. The cranks have only got cosmetic damage on them, and it's the same with the frame, only cosmetic damage. I did apply a Lizard Skins chainstay protector to reduce the damage from chain slap. The fork has needed some air to be put into it, but apart from that, it's run perfectly. However, the pedals that come stock with the bike are dreadful, so I would recommend switching them out and getting a new pair. I did make a mistake with this though, I got some Crank Brothers stamp ones, and I wouldn't recommend them, they're not very good. Admittedly, they are cheap, but if I could rewind time, I would have gone for something like the DMR V11s. They are more expensive, coming in at £50, which is £15 more than the Crank Brothers stamp ones, but from the reviews I've read, they're really good. The grips that came stock were actually quite nice, but over time they did actually start to tear, so I swapped them out and went for some DMR death grips, which I couldn't recommend highly enough. Leave a comment if you want to see a review on those. Of the year I've owned this bike, I probably ride once a week. Every time I come home, I give my bike a bolt check and I clean it because it helps it run longer. I'd recommend doing this because for the amount of punishment the bikes take after every ride, you do want to do something to help maintain them so you don't have to keep spending money on replacing parts. Now with the full suspension Trek Remedy 8, it's basically the same story, but it's held up a bit better mechanically wise as the drop post isn't sticking and I've bolt checked it and cleaned it after every ride as well. Now for the tips. Number one is to not be afraid to buy used. As Treks are well built, you'll find it's basically like riding a brand new bike. Both the mountain bikes talked about in this video are x high bikes, which means they've been ridden a bit before we owned them. They both run really well, obviously with the faults I talked about earlier in this video. Number two is to look around for some good deals. For example, my Trek Roscoe 7 came from Canuck Chase Cycles. We went to them at the end of the season, asked if they were selling an x high bikes, they said they were. A few months down the line, I had a couple month old Trek Roscoe 7 that was usually £1.1,000 for £600. A few good places to look, a pink bike, eBay, be careful on who you buy from, Facebook Marketplace, same as eBay, be careful, and your local bike shop. Ask if they're selling any x hire bikes or x demo bikes, they're basically the same thing, or just any bikes sold at a discounted price. Just as a quick side note, the people at Trek are also really nice. There's a local bike shop in Shrewsbury that is Trek, and every single member of staff is really nice and polite. So as to sum up, yes, Trek bikes are good. This isn't a promotional video, I'm not sponsoring anything, I just really, this is an honest view. And also, the franchise seem really nice, as I just previously mentioned. Anyway, that's a wrap for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to, uh, feel free to subscribe, it really helps me out. I want to hit 100 by the end of the year, and as only 17% of you are actually subscribed, I feel like that's completely doable. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. We'll <laughs>